What's up, guys, and welcome to my review for Speak No Evil. This is the original 2022 Danish film that, surprisingly enough, two years later, this gets an American remake. I've never really seen something get remade that quickly, but this is kind of unprecedented. Why was it remade so quickly? I don't know. Maybe this new film is going to have something new to say and new to do with the material. You could only hope. But this original film, I've wanted to watch since this new one was announced. I said, okay, well, let's watch that original movie. This original movie, from what I understand, has gotten great reviews, and it's a very positive score on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's about a Danish family who's on vacation, and they meet another family who invites them to go to the countryside with them for a little bit, and once they get out there, one thing after another happens, and it gets a little strange. <laughs> and, you know, it's the same formula that we've seen a lot. People are invited places, just like Blink Twice, movie just, that just came out, which I loved that film. Uh, but it's like they get invited to this place, and it starts off nice, but one strange thing after another happens until the dark truth and mystery of the place is revealed and now we've got to get out of there and it becomes a survival film i think it's okay to reuse that sort of concept if you're doing something special with it like blink twice i did feel like had something to say and it really worked for me this movie i'm not entirely sure it had something to say but i do feel like it was very well made. Like the cinematography especially in the first half of the movie is very beautiful. You get a nice shot of the water and the ocean and waves. I mean it was just really nice and we fade into the house that we're going to go to on vacation. The movie builds a good tension and you do care about the family that, you know, is the lead here. You know, you have the people who are going to reveal themselves later on in the film, but accidentally reveal themselves. I mean, the guy, I, I don't want to spoil anything because this movie is only two years old. And if you're planning on seeing the new one, I don't want you to watch this review and get spoiled on the story for it. So I don't want to do that. I just want to say that there is tension and there is buildup. And when the darkness and the dark secrets are revealed, uh, I think it, it's just kind of glossed over and the movie does try to play into the shock and awe value of it in the last 10 to 15 minutes, which I do think it was very shocking, and I think it worked. It certainly worked for what they were trying to accomplish, but I just wish you got some more answers into why these people are doing what they're doing, because you never really find that out. It's just a very horrific situation that this very nice family is placed into. And the end of the film, I don't think it was very satisfying. It leaves you feeling very disturbed. And I think that's what they were going for. The rewatchability here, I don't think is very high. I do think the performances are great. But at the same time, the movie does move really slow. It's only about an hour and 40 minutes or something like that. And it does move very slow. Now, the new one, I think, is like 10 minutes longer. So hopefully, that's a better paced film. Hopefully, they were able to improve on that. Because I do think there were things to improve on with this original film, like the reveal and getting more in-depth into the mindset of the antagonists of the movie. Hopefully the new one, James McAvoy, you're casting, hopefully you could do that kind of thing with him. But this, you don't really get that, so that wasn't very satisfying. And also the pace. Like I said, hopefully they can you know, make a better paced film, and hopefully it's different enough. But this film, like I said, the tension is there. It was an experience that I watched. I was like, I, I like it. I think it's good. I don't think it's great. But at the same time, I can see why maybe they said, you know, let's take this material. Let's do it again. Let's just kind of polish it because I don't think that this movie's perfect. So I liked it, though. I did certainly like it. And I'm going to give it three and a half out of five stars. Thought it was good. I just wish we got a little more meat. There's a little too many condiments, and there's not enough meat. So hopefully we get that meat in the new film. And I'm not just talking about James McAvoy. I'm talking about the whole thing as, as an experience and an overall film, which is going to leave us with a feeling of probably the same sort of dread and discomfort you know, that new movie is probably going to leave us with the same feeling, I would imagine. I mean, how much are they going to change the story? I'm not sure. 
but we'll see. I'm very interested to see the differences and be able to compare these movies that came out very close to each other. So that's my thoughts on Speak No Evil, the original 2022 Danish film. Guys, comment down below. Did you see this movie? I rented it for four bucks. So I said, oh, four bucks for this rental? Why not? So I checked it out, and I'm very much looking forward to the new film, which I am going to have a review up for probably Friday early afternoon. That's what I'm predicting for that. So guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a bunch of other reviews on the channel. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is a big one that I just reviewed, and we're also going to be talking about a bunch of things in the future. We're about a month away, less than a month away, from Joker, Folly Ado which that first film was my favorite movie of 2019. So we'll see how this one shakes up. So guys, you could also follow me on Twitter and or X at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingOfRises131. That's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for that original 2022 Danish film, Speak No Evil. And until next time, over and out.